Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Beyond the Curtain. Today, I'm speaking to Maddie Moat, Wendy Peters, and Andy Abraham. All three are starring in Leicester's Pantomime at Demont Hall, which is their production of Sleeping Beauty. The production is currently open and is playing until Monday, the 3rd of January. Hope you enjoy this interview, and I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Hello, I'm Maddie Moat and I play Fairy Phoenix in Sleeping Beauty, the good fairy. Although she's not, she's not great. She tries. <laughs> I'm Abraham. I uh, play King Alfred. Ooh. You know, my friends oh. call me Alfie. You're giving yourself a quite a lot, mate. I know, I know. What I am. Um, yeah, and he does a lot of singing. He's kind of, hopefully he's kind of cool, I think. But that's, I'll leave that to Princess Rosa. He is. He is. <laughs> I'm oh, Wendy Peters and I'm playing Carabos the Wicked Fairy uh, and I'm definitely not very nice and I do a lot of singing and a lot of shouting. Amazing. How has it been kind of, I know you're kind of into your kind of second, third week now, how has it been bringing back Pantomime to Leicester obviously after last year kind of everything that happened? Well this is my first Panto so I'm probably not the best person to ask so for me it's just like the first time I've ever done it so I don't really know any different. But what about yeah. you guys? It's lovely to be back, um, obviously we all had a year out last year um, and um, it was devastating for everybody, yeah. uh, audience-wise and cast-wise, not to be able to bring Panto. And it's lovely to be back. It's great to have the audiences. The audiences are coming, which is lovely. And we're just keeping our fingers crossed that everything carries on for a little bit longer. Absolutely. We're all sort of living day by day at the moment, and um, mm. but we're still having a great time. And the audience is still coming to see us, which is yeah. really important. Yeah, not going to lie, Mark. It all feels a little bit squeaky at the moment. Yeah, but- of course. We're having a great time whilst we can. Yeah, we Good. Yeah. Fingers crossed, like you say. You keep keep at it. And what's guys your guys kind of favourite thing about being in the pantomime? Uh, People. I, uh, from my my perspective is uh, every <laughs> pantomime is different. So as much as we would say the same thing, but I I focus on just some of the smaller things that make me laugh. Okay, there are certain things like how. Um, how fairy phoenix you know just the 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 exuberance of her smile and everything like that and and, and that makes me laugh sometimes i can't even look at her and with uh with um carabos there are elements where she she does oh where where can she be yes (laughs) honestly i'm very easy to uh to make laugh he is I'm not, um, no. thankfully, because I don't think I should laugh. That's right. Uh, for mm. me, when I'm wicked in a panto, the, the main thing for me is not to break the, the madness and the badness because it's it's sort of it breaks the whole story. Absolutely. And for the ch- children, and it's, it's it's meant to this believable story that she's absolutely horrid until she dies. Um, so, but no, yeah, I'm really loving it here. A great company. We're having really good fun. Um, great audiences, great crew here at the Montford Hall in Leicester. They're, they're all just a really great team. Um, and I think that's the nice thing about Christmas because you, you're invariably away from your family, most people. Yeah. So it's lovely to have another, a new family around you mm. that all get on. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to obviously go and do much socialising because yeah. we're all being very, very careful because we're testing every day and, um, and we have to be very, very careful. So, but we're having a great time within these because once we're in the building, we're fine and we mm. can all get on and do, you know, for the day. We're all tested and we're all negative. So it's great. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. And I've got Christmas coming up. I've made a Christmas cake and Maddie's mm. helping me decorate it. So Christmas Eve, we'll have a Christmas cake between shows. This is a big deal, Mark. Yes. Wendy yeah. is not for her baking <laughs> and the fact that I'm allowed to like take part in it. <laughs> there you go. Deal. Like bake off now. You have to like do a little bake off kind of yeah. style thing. That's no tourist for eating. No, yeah, you'll eat the it's the best bit of it it's the best bit of it and kind of i know we've already kind of talked about like covid and all that but it's kind of like has it changed kind of how you've been kind of like rehearsals and kind of obviously the audience are in masks so it's kind of maybe a little bit difficult to gauge their reactions Uh, reactions are still amazing to the audiences we can still hear them um it obviously changes um, our, our life, day-to-day life a little bit in rehearsals, especially, you know, to me to carefully this and in, in one way and out the yeah, other and absolutely. testing and hand sanitizing and 
Um, but that's sort of become life now, hasn't it? Yeah. Not just in a rehearsal room. Yeah. Um, so it, 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 it's changed it a little bit in that respect. And of course, all the crew are masked. They have to be masked backstage. Mm -hmm. We're the only people who obviously aren't allowed, uh, are allowed to take our masks off. So it's changed yeah. it a bit, but it's still, it's, it's still good old panto. We're essentially bubbled. I think, to be honest, yeah. all it's really done bubbled. has sort of like affected what we do outside of the theatre. Yeah. So yeah. I think that, you know, we haven't had a cast dinner for example. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we can handle that. We'd rather keep the show open for as long as we Absolutely. are allowed to. We were talking about maybe on the, the last night or the day, the night mm. before the last day. We could perhaps actually go out Take and do risk. something and, and you know, yeah. sort of the last, so we know the last day is the only two shows we've got to get through and we'll be fine. Um, but, you know, it's, it's I think we're different. conscious of each other as well, do you yeah. know what I mean? Making sure yeah. that everybody is comfortable, yeah. not, you know, to wear a mask or to, to sanitise, it's no big deal, really. Yeah. So, you know, as long as everybody if is that's comfortable. What, yes. yeah. If that's what's keeping us on, Absolutely. that's what we have to do. Yeah. It's no problem at all. Yeah. Amazing. And do you guys have like a favourite scene to perform within the show? I guess it probably changes every show, but... Good. Um, I've got two favourites. One, when I get to uh, use some test tube glitter potions. Big fan of that moment. And there's also a scene with pretty much everyone apart from Carabos really. It's sort of in the second act and it's when we are coming up with a plan. And it's oh, a scene where loads of us are on stage together. God. Rather than it being like, oh no, Rose is asleep. It's let's go and do something positive. Yeah, and it's just yeah. a really it's fun right. scene to yeah, do because we're all smiling in it and it's yeah. just nice. No, yeah. And it gets really silly. I'm not now. That's my fave. What about yours? My favorite, oh God. Um... I suppose just the singing, the singing parts, really. You know, you especially sing? when we're all. Yeah, I know, oh, I know. Um, when we're all kind of on stage, the, I'll, I'll probably say my favourite is the last two, uh, the, the melody, me medley. Sorry, the mm. mega mix. The yeah. mega mix at the end. I love that. I love yeah, it. No, that's good fun because then everybody's up on their feet and dancing yeah. and having a great time as yeah. well. Um, I have. I, I love that. The thing is, my bits are quite separate from everybody else's. Mm. A lot of mine's front curtain. I have mm. a great scene. Back to with Maddie with Phoenix. I enjoy doing that. Um, but a lot of mine are separate. So if I'm going to be self indulgent and be a bit starry, I <laughs> you can say, do that. I'm going to say I put a spell on you when, when I turn yeah. into a dragon. That's one of my favorite numbers. I ask for it every time I do a panto and play by Carabos because I just love singing that song. Mm -hmm. Cracking tune. Isn't it an and she's got an amazing voice. Yes. <laughs> you all have. You all have, to be fair. Honestly. Oh, you You're all brilliant. Um, if you, like, say tonight, for the next show, could switch roles with anybody. Who would you switch for? Wow. Um, oh. Everybody else's shows are much busier than mine, so I'm not certain I'd switch with anybody. Yeah. <laughs> and I just sort of parade around. Um, I'd quite like to swap fairies. Yeah. That'd be quite good fun. I'd, I'd, I'd go like to swap fairies. Yeah, I've done good fairy a few times. I'd like to have a good, it'd be nice for a while. Yeah. 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 Oh, I think you, I could, you could be Jared. I wouldn't mind having a go at being you a dame. Adjust. The day. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. So we'll do a fairy swap and yeah, Andy is down. That's a good shout. Right. I'm gonna ask you some quick fire questions. It's not about the pantomime, it's more general like Christmas stuff. Yeah. Right. So be prepared. What is your favorite Christmas tradition? It's my dad's birthday. Oh. Andy, go. Um, my my daughter's birthday, Christmas Eve. Mm. so yeah and mine is every year my mum decorates the christmas tree but her rule is only edible things can go on the tree oh, that's a good rule <laughs> Apart from the light, everything else has to be edible and it always smells amazing that's wow. a great chat what is your favorite christmas food Ooh. Ooh. oh that's my least oh. Oh. Uh, I, I i love a turkey dinner who doesn't love a turkey dinner christmas dinner and Christmas pudding, I know, and you know, could because you know, you just one day of the year. I never have it any other day. Christmas pudding. Well, Grenadians, um, we have this uh, this ham that um, my brother goes and gets uh, for us. So it takes it takes about four days to cure it and everything. Oh, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah. That love sounds that, good. That bit I love it. That could be mine as well. Home cooked uh, bread as well. Can I change that soon, Mr. Clementines, please? Clementines. Clementines. <laughs> They're the Christmas ones, aren't yeah. they? They are. You could have said Wendy's cake, to be fair, but yeah. Oh. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What would be your favourite Christmas song? Driving home for Christmas for me. 
What was on this morning? I like that one. That's always a oh, you, you get in the car on Christmas and it comes on the radio and you're driving away for one day holiday. Oh, I like Chris Rear. Chris Rear, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. What was we what were we listening to this morning when we were stretching? Oh, good question. Um, Brenda Lee rocking around the Christmas tree and then there was something no. else. What was it? Oh mine's Chris Rear too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, favorite Christmas film? That's always a tricky one. Christmas Carol. That's a good one. Mine's White Christmas. Mm. I've done White Christmas a few times, and it's mm. just. Oh, I'd love to do that. It's great. I'd love to sing the song. In mm. fact, um, I'd probably say because of my daughter, I'd probably say The Grinch. Jim Carrey. <laughs> good one. That's good. If you could invite three guests around for Christmas dinner, alive or dead, who are you inviting? Wow. Okay, oh, uh, mine, mine would all be, uh, um, oh, actually, no, there'd be one man. There'd be Alan Rickman, there'd be Judy Dench, there'd be Julie Walters, and there'd be Patricia Ravage. Wow. Mm, solid. Wow. solid. That was really fast. That was, yeah. Go on, Andy, yeah. I'm thinking. Um, heroes, heroes. Um, for Christmas, uh, I'd probably say uh, Donny Hathaway would be one. My mum would be another. Um, yeah, uh, that would, pr- and my best mate who sadly passed away years ago. Oh, that Danny. changed my career. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, what can I say now? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, yeah, Andy. Bloody hell. Yeah. Bloody hell, line me up, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say, how do I really, um, Attenborough, Oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I have, but but yeah. okay, this is meant to be quick fire. But actually, I'd like to think about it. I think who would I most just like to have a drink with? Mm-hmm. But I think Andrew would be would be one. I you know what Jim Henson. I do respect Jim Henson yeah. quite a lot. That would be a good one. Who else? I'm gonna go with. Oh gosh, I don't know Cleopatra. There we go. Someone Ooh, from history. Ooh, That'd be right. awesome. Yeah. Niche. Uh, obviously, yeah. Sleeping Beauty. Obviously, has the spell put on her. If you were put under a spell to fall asleep, but you woke up in your dream location in the world, where would it be? Oh, New York. Bam, bam, ba, da, da. Yeah, on stage. As long as the as long as Broadway was running. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh mine. Um, I like that New York. I went. I've been to New York, and it was yeah, amazing. Yeah. Um, I would probably say uh, Cyprus and Grenada, just because it's warm, can chill out. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Bali, please. Amazing. Amazing. Kind of more, kind of, that's the end of the quick fire, but I'm going to ask like more of a specified question to like Wendy. How, how much like, do you enjoy getting to be that kind of evil, this kind of, because obviously I presume you're not like that in real life. So, oh, well. oh no, no. <laughs> sometimes uh, my son wasn't very happy when I picked him up from school yesterday and said, Put your mask on now. <laughs> and I can't, I'm taking any risks. You come from a morning house. Um, it's, it's, it's lovely. I love playing all characters, but it's always nice to play them baddies. Always good to be wicked and have a good shout and get all your anger out on stage Absolutely. rather than <laughs> in the car. Shoot at the car when I'm angry, uh, <laughs> terrible driver. But um, no, it's nice to do it on stage. No, I love playing the baddie. And, it, you know, I love, and it sounds really bad. And I always say it, I love making the kids cry, which sounds really, really bad. <laughs> You're doing but, a good job, though. Yeah, but that's it. I'm doing my job properly. If, there's, if they're screaming and they're crying, I'm doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously this is kind of more Andy, but this is kind of a way, well, for all of you. But how does it go about selecting the songs for the show? Because do you guys have a say in that or is it kind of in the script already? Well, that was that was to do with Jan, really, uh, the director. Um, I mean, she, they asked me uh, what sort of songs do I like singing, so I sent them um, like a, a multitude of songs. But in essence, it's really down to them. Um, I've just got to adapt to the songs, really. Yeah. I don't think it should be a case of I, I'm a singer, so I should be able to sing whatever they present me. Do you know what I mean? She certainly picked soul songs that are great Absolutely. for you. Mm-hmm. And the same with me. Already, she'd already put yeah. um, Toxic and Bad Guy in, and then she phoned me and asked me, yeah. uh, is there a number that I would like to do? And that's when I said, put a spell on you, which yeah. she hadn't cool. heard of before. Oh. So I've introduced her to a new song. Okay. I was supposed to be singing, but yeah. then yeah. someone found out that I could dabble in a that's tune. Dabble. And now I'm helping this guy out. I know. Not that he I needs know. it. My backup. 
Yeah, amazing. And obviously, this is more for you, Maddie. Kind of like you've already mentioned it, it's your pantomime debut, but why this year? <laughs> why this production? Kind of. Um, the because the previous year has been, you know, pretty difficult for everybody, um, and also it just felt like the right time to do it. I've always sort of like thought it'd be something that I would like to try and I hadn't yet. And this year came about and I thought, you know what, we've been restricted to so many things. The fact that the opportunity came along this year, I thought, yeah, now's the time to say to, to say yes and give it a go. So it was a combination. And also I had a year where I'd been at home a lot more than I normally am. And I think that sort of meant that when it came to being away for a long time over Christmas, I was like, you know what, actually I can do that this year because I've spent so much more time at home than I normally would so it was a, it was a bunch of practical and also just interested to try it out reasons Amazing. and to wrap it all up why should people watching or anyone out there come and see the show because don't we all need a laugh at the moment eh <laughs> bit, of bit of escapism bit of escapism and that that's the that's the thing come up come here Put your mask on, have a drink, whatever, and relax for two hours. Absolutely. Laugh um, and just have some fun. Yeah. Bring and the kids or bring the grandparents. Bring, and that's the nice thing about this panto. It's for all ages. Yeah. Not just the kids. You know, there's there's great numbers. There's there's some jokes that may go over the kids' heads. Hopefully, will go over the kids' heads. You know, for the adults as well. So there's something for everybody. Yeah. So it's a real family occasion. Jared Christmas is great. He's very funny. He's great. Uh, and and we've got to mention about the magic yes. as well. The yes. Magic is fantastic. Brilliant illusions and, and, and magic yeah. from, from Matthew and Natasha. The conjurers. This, yeah. this show has it all. It's got everything. Music, fun, laughter, magic. We just yeah. need a performing dog, really, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll think about it. That one the, um, the conjurers did, the bit where they um, make her disappear. Not a clue. It kind of blew my mind, no. my nephew's mind. No. Like, They've done their job then, haven't they? Absolutely. They have. But well, that leads me to thank you all for your time today. I hope the rest of the run goes amazingly. Obviously, if people want to come, you're on till the 3rd of January at the month hall. So people should go because it's brilliant. Fingers oh, yeah, hopefully. Up. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And yeah. We'll get there unscathed. Yeah. But yeah, thank yeah. you guys. Hope yeah. the rest of the run is amazing. You guys are brilliant. I love the show. So, well done. Thank you. So it's much more. Bye bye.